How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be predicting the brand new legend involved within the player program as well as the upcoming content released into the game tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So to start off this video, I first want to mention that this is all speculation. I don't necessarily know exactly what's going to be released tomorrow, but I am going to explain why I think these players will be in the game tomorrow afternoon. Now I will be working, so I won't be able to necessarily make a video on this type of stuff, but I wanted to give you, you know, kind of what to expect even though I could be incorrect on some of my predictions. So we're gonna start with this brand new legend and I think we're going to get Sean Casey. I think we're going to get a 2004 Reds version of Sean Casey, might be an all-star version of that card and that will go along with the first inning program as we saw with the legend Eric Davis released into the game. Now, MLB The Show developers kind of hinted at Sean Casey when they were talking about some of those Road to the Show videos implemented with MLB Network. Now I think that that's a pretty safe prediction in terms of a brand new legend that we already kind of know about. Of course unlocking and collecting that card will probably earn you XP towards the first inning program. In addition to that we will have a brand new conquest map, a new event, and a first inning collection. Now the first inning collection is something that we have already seen in MLB The Show and we saw in last year's game. And instead of earning XP towards the program, you earn program stars. Now I wanted to quickly show you what I, exactly I'm talking about. And in last year's game, you were to collect prospect cards. Now this was a brand new series that they introduced into the game. So they could do this same type of thing again, right? We have a bunch of prospects implemented, I believe, within the conquest mode. So that would make sense. But I think that we might see a collect all-star players here because we already have the Eric Davis who I'm pretty sure is an all-star. And then if they did go ahead and select Sean Casey, that 2004 all-star version would make sense in collecting those players towards the first inning. Now, if I'm incorrect on the series of cards you're supposed to collect, then it will most likely be one of these cards within the Legend and Flashback players that we have in the game. And I would assume that we would get about 20,000 XP in collecting these cards now this will give you progress on the first inning program if you've already completed it there are multiple rewards past the first inning program boss including a live series diamond player that i have not really seen people get above a 90 overall but we will see uh, more of those probably opened up in the next you know couple of days because of all this double xp because of all this content that's coming out but I think that's pretty much the safest bet. Now, the one thing I didn't really talk about is the event, and I'm going to do that now. The conquest map could be a variety of things. They're always going to give us hidden rewards within that conquest map, and I would suggest completing it, especially if you're no money spent. This is something that you will want to complete. Now, we have a current event right here called Welcome to the Show Part 1, and I would suggest that we would get Part 2 released tomorrow. We also don't know if we will get additional rewards within this event because it does not list that on the home screen menu that I was showing you at the beginning of the video. It just says new event, right? It doesn't say new event rewards. So we don't necessarily know, but I'm going to predict some new rewards anyway. And I'm going to explain what I think will be the next event because I think this event will be over. It does mention that uh, you know, this event expires tomorrow, April 27th, I think around 11 a.m., something like that. So I'll, I will be working at that time. Once again, you know, I won't be on my console. I won't be able to get 24 wins in that time frame. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. But I also wanted to mention that I picked up the Miguel Cabrera. I'm going to be trying him out for a video. But I think we're going to get a pitcher, right? If we got an American League hitter for the American League pitcher and National League hitter event... I think we could get a National League pitcher for the National League pitcher and American League hitter event. Now that sounds kind of confusing to say, but that's exactly what I think we're going to get. Basically the flip side of this event, National League pitchers and American League hitters with the same type of settings, right? All-star difficulty, three inning games, max team overall, maybe at an 85, maybe even an 86. I think they might start to increase that a little bit. Maybe not necessarily for this first event though. Or this first series of events I'm kind of curious you know it could be uh, slightly different that could be the third part you don't know how many parts there are right there's a lot of things that we don't know and that's the best part about some of these prediction videos 
in the fact that we really don't know what to expect and it's all speculation. Most of the time we're incorrect, but if you take a look at previous prediction videos, I have been right about a few things. For example, uh, you know, some of the Team Affinity cards I was correct about. If you take a look at the XP reward path that I was predicting that is actually not even in the game, a lot of those players that I was talking about are collection rewards or they're implemented into the game in some other way currently. So if we do get a National League pitcher, I know you're looking at a Royals version of Zach Granke, but I think that we might get a different version of Zach Granke, one that we haven't seen before. And that might be a 2015 uh, Dodgers version of Zach Granke. He went 19 and three that year. He won a gold glove, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I think he won uh, all-star as well. I think that's kind of the trend. I'm not exactly sure um, what his accolades are for that specific year. He might've even won the Cy Young or finished second in the race. But I think in 2015, he had a great year as the Dodgers number two pitcher. And I think that it would make sense to have uh, Zach Greinke implemented. I know I predicted him as well in the XP reward path, but this is, uh, you know, we don't have the XP reward path. And this is a card that kind of fits the trend, right? He's not too overpowering. He would be pretty good in the game right now, probably at a 91, 92 overall. We saw the 89 version. That was the very first card that I showed you. That was from MLB The Show 18. And he's gotten upgraded or at least had different attributes every single time. But these are also different versions of the card. Now, I also wanted to mention that we might get Madison Bumgarner. The reason why I'm selecting these live series or current day players would be simply for the fact that they are later on in their career. They're both National League pitchers. And I don't necessarily think we'll get Madison Bumgarner. I'm just including him as a secondary option. I'm going with Granke because Madison Bumgarner was an event reward in last year's game as well. Now, I don't think we'll get the best version, right? I know I have some 96, 97, 98 overall players. I don't think we're going to get that. Probably around the 91 to 92 range, like I mentioned a little bit earlier but i was able to pick up the 92 overall miguel cabrera i grew up watching the detroit tigers as i have some family from michigan but i was born and raised in arizona so i'm also a diamondback fan but really i'm just a baseball fan in general i always liked miguel cabrera though and a few of these other players happen to play for the diamondbacks that i'm mentioning or have played for the diamondbacks that i'm mentioning in this video so i just wanted to also say that i'm not predicting those cards because i'm a fan of their teams i'm just predicting them because i think they would be pretty solid cards to release into the game right now now i have gotten a lot of questions about hitting tips and how do i practice how do i get better at the plate i'm going to go ahead and link a couple hitting tips videos in the description and also pin my hitting settings in the comment section down below but that's gonna do it for this video i'm college lefty and that's kind of predicting what's happening in mlb the show tomorrow peace out